And we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, let us know if you can hear me and see me okay. Nick and Gemma are joining me. All right. Uh, we're doing Merlin tonight. So Merlin, I did an unboxing video of this. This is the big box, although tonight we're just playing the base game. Just the base game. We've got, uh, yeah, 52 different mini expansions, I think, but we're not going to play any of those. If you like the game, come back next month and we can maybe add in some expansions. But yeah. we're just playing the base game tonight. Uh, Nick and Gemma haven't played this game before. No. My guess is that you're going to like it. So if you don't, don't say anything. Smile <laughs> smile, and say, yes, Paul, we loved it until until we stopped. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a tutorial. If you don't know how to play Merlin, this is going to, this is going to teach you. Uh, so yeah, so this is Merlin. This is um, a Euro style game where we're going to be playing over six rounds mm -hmm. and we're trying to get as many points as we can. This is the round tracker here. Okay. This is the points tracker here. Mm -hmm. Play with the most points at the end of the game will win. Um, Thematically, what we've got is we've got six different principalities and we have a set of components in each principality. We have resource cubes, we have flags, we have shields. We also have a space where you will be putting your influence markers, okay. which as you can see from the icon there, yeah. are the little octagonal things we've got on there. Okay. We have the round table in the middle. Mm -hmm. This will be assigned to the start player okay. uh, and it will move around at the end of each round. This is Merlin. Merlin always starts on this space here. Cool. We have a knight. Our knight is our piece which is going to be going around the round table. Mm -hmm. That will start on a space uh, decided by our starting tile. Mm -hmm. um, we also have some mission cards. Yep. We have some traitors, which is a way of losing points if you don't fight them off. Okay. And we have some apples. Nice. Right. We also have the environs board. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got a camera preset for the environs board. This is randomly generated. Uh, we're using a number of tiles based on a three-player game. If it was a four-player game, there yeah. would be an extra row. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. If it was a two-player game, then then there'd be one fewer row, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. And then all of the tiles get shuffled and laid out randomly. Mm -hmm. and we're just using the tiles from the base game here. So you have three different terrain types, and some of them have towers on. Okay. Okay. We'll come on to that more later on. Each of us has a player board. Uh, you will need space to the left of your player board and the right for your flags. Mm -hmm. See the different slots here for the six different colours of flags. Yeah. You will need slots at the top, which mm -hmm. is where the traitors will go. Okay. Okay. They won't go that way around. They'll go the other way around. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got four vassals. Okay. Okay. Uh, with stickers on. You have an apple. Everybody starts the game with one apple. Okay. You've got seven influence markers. Mm -hmm. One of them is going to start off on the board. You've got three of your own dice and you've got a white dice. White dice. Each player has a white die. And you have three of Merlin's staffs. Okay, okay. so that's, that's where we all are. Let's do the setup. So each player gets one of these. Thank you. Okay, right. So we'll do mine first. First thing is on it, it tells you which space to place your knight on. So my knight starts in the blue fish principality. So I go there. Okay. Your starts on the brown one with, I think it's a double headed eagle, is it? And then mine's got the one with the snake. The snake, the right. There. And you take a flag from that particular place and put it next to your player board on the appropriate space. So you get a purple flag and you get a brown flag. Thank you very much. Okay. The next thing on your starting tile, it tells you which shield you start with. So I start with a, a grey shield and the grey shield goes on the grey space. So I'll tell you now, that space on the left hand side is not grey. It's black. Okay? okay, so look, if in doubt, look at the icon. Okay. So, so, so I've got the three fish one. You got a blue one. Thank you very much. Gemma, yours is the okay. orange one. Supposed to go on top. Yeah, on there. Okay. Yep. Then we have a cube. So I start with a black resource cube. All of your resource cubes go on your player board. Mm -hmm. You start with a grey one. Yep, so that and you start with a purple one. And then finally, it tells you which principality your influence marker goes in. So my influence marker goes here. Uh, that goes in the middle. This one with the dragon. And goes in the fish. And goes in there. Right, that is it for the starting tiles. We do not need them anymore. Okay. They can disappear. For all to see who goes first. Highest. Oh. Five. Six. Two. So you're the start player. Okay. You get the crown. That is yours. Awesome. And Right, missions. So these are the different missions. I'm actually going to show you these first. Yeah. Um, you will be trying to accomplish at least one mission per turn. A turn per round? Per turn. Okay. 
So every time it is your turn, mm -hmm. you will have four cards in hand. You want, you want to try and accomplish one of them mm -hmm. uh, because it's three points. There are three different difficulties, one, two, and three, worth one, two, and three points. The important thing about the missions is you have to have what's shown on them, but you do not spend it. Right. So literally, it's three points as long as you meet the condition of the card. Okay. okay. So it's understanding what all the conditions do. You can ignore the icon in the bottom left. Okay. Because that is for the first mini expansion. Okay. Um, so that is having that particular vassal in that particular principality. You'll right, notice okay. that there are spaces here for the different vassals. So if you have that one in there, mm -hmm. you can reveal this card and get a point. Okay. That one is for having any four flags. Sometimes they're coloured. If they were coloured, you'd have to have those exact ones. So like on this one here, then? Like on that one, you'd yeah. have to have that and that. If you've got that, you've got two points. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's having those cubes. That's having influence markers in those two principalities. Okay. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, that's for having any two vassals in that principality. Right. doesn't okay. matter what they are. The iconography is fairly clear. Yeah. If you're not sure what you've got, just ask, because I don't think there's much advantage to me knowing what you've got in your hand okay. okay so we each start with four mission cards okay. and on your turn if you do complete one of your missions you draw a new card straight away well okay. at the end of your turn okay. so you'll generally always have four right so they are yours in your hand and there are three on display now the game does come with a little board to put these on mm -hmm. but the board doesn't quite fit with this particular <laughs> configuration so okay. Whenever you're drawing back up, you can take one of those three, mm -hmm. or you can take one from there. So if you really don't like those, you, you can always draw blind from there. Okay. Right. And sorry, what was the number on top right again? Points. Points you get. That's how many points you get for completing that mission. Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen is, start of the game, we all roll all of our dice. Okay. Okay. If you have rolled, there has to be three different numbers mm -hmm. within your dice. Okay. So if you've rolled three or four of the same, mm -hmm. you must re-roll all of them. Okay. Okay. If you haven't, just put them here in your, on your player board. They, those are your dice for this round. Okay. Okay. So what's going to happen? Each round, mm -hmm. we are going to take turns, starting with the start player, which yeah. is you. You will take a turn, then I'll take a turn, Gemma will take a turn, and it will keep going like that. And on a turn, you use one of your dice. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to take four turns per round each. So basically, six rounds in the game. We're all going to take 24 turns. Okay. okay? Yeah. On your turn, you choose whether you want to use one of your coloured dice or you want to use the white dice. I'll mm -hmm. explain the coloured dice first. You move your knight clockwise mm -hmm. that number of spaces okay. and then perform the action where the knight ends. Okay, I see, yeah. There can be more than one knight per space. Okay. So there's no blocking or anything like that. Um, so straight away you can see if this was... Your turn, you've got a one, a three, and a four. Yeah. So you could perform that action, that action, or that action. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Once you use the dice, you put it in the middle of the board, it's gone. Mm -hmm. You'll get them back at the end of the round. Okay. The white die is used to move Merlin. Okay. Who can move clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. Very similar though, you get to perform the action where he lands. Okay. If when moving Merlin you use one of your wizard staffs. Okay. You get to do the action twice. Oh, okay. But these are worth points at the end of the game if you've still got them. Right. Okay. So use them if you really need to. Mm -hmm. Keep them for points at the end of the game. Right. The rest of the explanation is all about the different actions. So I've got a zoom in point here and I'm yeah. going to go through. Oh, there is another thing we need to do. Everybody gets three traitors. Do you want to take three traitors? Uh, yeah. okay. okay. I will take three traitors. Flip them face up. And slot them into the appropriate slots on your player board. And I will mention them now quickly. Do they have to go above the matching? Matching colours, symbols, yeah. Okay. Okay, so at the end of each round, you will lose three points for each traitor that you are not able to fight off. To fight them off, you need a shield. Right. Okay. okay. So that's what you're trying to do with the shields, is you're trying to collect the shields of the colours that you've got. There are yeah. other ways of getting rid of the traitors as well, but mm -hmm. I'll mention that now. Right, back okay. to the actions. Yeah. Let's talk about Excalibur, since we're talking about traitors. So this space here is where you go to get Excalibur. Mm -hmm. If you land on this space, you get Excalibur, and you immediately remove any one traitor. Okay. Okay. 
Excalibur can be taken off you if somebody else lands on the space. But if you still have Excalibur at the end of the round, mm -hmm. when we do scoring, and I haven't, I haven't mentioned this, but the game's divided into six rounds. You don't do end of the game scoring every round. You only do it after rounds two, four, and six. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in a scoring round, yeah. if you have Excalibur and you have managed to get rid of all of your traitors, you get a bonus three points. Okay. So it doesn't automatically give you three points. It's only three points if you manage to get rid of all your traitors. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Since we're talking about special pieces, let's talk about the Grail. When you get the Grail, it does two things. First of all, it comes with an apple. So what I'm going to do, and this isn't in the rules, but this is what I do. I'm going to put an apple underneath it. Okay. Because otherwise, I'll forget. All right. All right. So when you land on the Grail space, you take the Grail from whoever's got it. Yeah. And you gain an apple. Mm -hmm. Apples, you can use them on your turn to turn your die to any number. Okay. But they're worth points at the end of the game if you've still got them. Of course. Okay? Yeah. Of course. Right. <laughs> Um, the Grail will help you in scoring with tiebreakers. Okay. We'll come on to that later on. But All right. Yeah, getting the Grail gets you an apple. Right. Other things, whilst it might look like there's loads and loads of icons, yeah. they are grouped together in very similar things. Okay. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the victory point spaces. There's one there. Yeah. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one there. Okay. They are very simply one point for each thing you've got of what's depicted. Okay. That's it, mm -hmm. right? Really, really simple. The next thing I'm going to explain are these spaces, mm -hmm. where it's the influence marker, because there's a few of those. Those are, choose a principality on the board where you have an influence marker mm -hmm. and get the appropriate benefit, but only one. So if you have influence markers in three different principalities, you choose one of them. It isn't one for each. Right. Okay? okay. Uh, so at the moment, if I was to go there, I would only be able to take, where am I? There, I'd only be able to take that cube because okay. I only have an influence marker here. Okay, but if you were in these three, you If could I was in those three, you... I would choose which one, uh, but you only get one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's those spaces. Um, which space to explain next? That one, okay. which is also there. Mm -hmm. It's an exchange. Okay. Put in any cube, any flag, or any shield, okay. and take any cube, any flag, or any shield from anywhere, okay. irrespective of where you are or anything like that. So it's literally swap one thing for another. You're not gaining anything by doing it. Mm -hmm. So I initially, when I first played the game, dismissed that. Yeah. But actually, swapping something for the exact thing you need can be can be really useful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what have we got next? This one, which is also there. Mm -hmm. Um, this, I haven't looked this one up. I think it, it looks like it swapped two mission cards. Yeah. Let me just have a look at that one. Where is it? Yes, you may discard up to two of your mission cards to the discard pile and then draw the same number. Okay. Okay, so again, you're not gaining anything, mm -hmm. but you are cycling through. So any, every mission that is completed goes to a discard pile. If we ever run out, We'll reshuffle the discards and go back in. Okay. Uh, next ones. Let's talk about the principalities. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so when you go to a principality space, you choose one of your vassals, which is on your player board. Yes. No, it doesn't have to be on your player board. Okay. You choose one of your vassals and you move them to the appropriate tent. If they were already on the board, mm -hmm. they move from where they were to here. Okay. And if there was somebody else there, they get kicked out. Okay. Okay. Which is one reason why some people don't like the game because they think it's a take that. It's not really. You're not going to go there deliberately to kick somebody out. Yeah. You go there because you want to go there. Okay. Yeah. Then, depending on which one you place, depends what benefit you get. Okay. That <clears throat> is depicted on the actual vessel. Okay. It's also where they are. So, okay. this one will get you a cube. Mm -hmm. This one will get you. Okay. That's a shield. That's over there. Uh, this one gets you a flag, and this one gets you to place an influence marker in here. Okay. So you can have more than one influence marker in each principality. Okay. I'll skip ahead quickly to the scoring. In scoring, the player with the most influence markers in each principality will score one point for each influence marker in that principality. Okay, yeah. Okay? If it's tied, you divide it by two. So yeah, that's why you want to get influence markers in here, because they will score. After scoring, everybody removes all but one influence marker from every principality. 
So you can't just dump five in there okay, and leave five in there for the whole game. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's the principalities. The the this one mm -hmm. move one of your uh, vassals from wherever they are, either one principality clockwise or anti-clockwise. To adjacent one. Then. Yeah. Okay. If, in the rare case that you don't have any on the board, you take one from your player board and put it anywhere on any principality. Okay. I think that's all but one of the icons explained. Okay. So the last icon to explain is building a castle. Okay, okay. which is that icon. Yeah. And that icon here, which uses this board. Mm -hmm. So okay. this is quite a clever little mini game here. What you do is you decide which hex you want to build on. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's just zoom in on that one there. Um, so yeah, you choose which hex you want to build on. Let's say I want to build here. Yeah. And then you look at which lines connect to a resource. So from here, it connects to purple, black, or gray, but it doesn't connect to any on the top that by drawing cool. lines out in the direction. Mm -hmm. So I can pay for that with either purple, black, or gray. It only ever costs one cube. Okay. But where you put it decides which cube it could be. Okay. Okay. Now, if you put it on a tower, you instantly get an influence, a flag, or a shield of any type. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the towers are better. Mm -hmm. um, but when we do scoring, this is divided into territories. So this is a territory of three. If I was in there in scoring, I would get three points. Okay. Yeah. If I was here, I get one point. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is four points. So if I go in there, I get four points. Okay. You wouldn't let me do that. Is you'd come along and you'd say, well, I'm going to go in there as well. Okay. At that point, we both get two points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Unless you go there, in which case you get four points. Mm -hmm. So whoever's got the most castles in a territory gains one point per size of that territory. Okay. Once castles have been placed, they can't be can't be demolished. Is that randomly set up? Is it every yeah. time? Yeah. So you just put them in? I, I just put them in. I oh, shuff okay. shuffled all the tiles together and randomly put yeah. them. So yeah, this is all individual tiles here. Okay, cool. Right. So that's that's all of the actions covered. A mm -hmm. couple of other things to mention. Flags. Yeah. Flags are a one-use ability. Mm -hmm. You keep them. Uh, I think you can have multiple flags of the same. Okay. I think you just stack them up. I'll check that in a minute. Um, but each flag has a particular special ability, and once you use it, you return it to the board. Mm. Okay, let's go through them, starting with the brown one. After you have moved your knight, mm. you may return a brown flag to teleport to the other side of the table. <laughs> okay. And then do the action there. So it's after you've moved, yeah. but before you do the action. Okay. Okay? Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. So that's the brown one. Next one, purple one. Mm. Swap your dice to the other side. Okay, yeah. Okay, so two becomes a five, mm -hmm. three becomes a four. Yeah. Mine, on the turn in which I use this, I can move counterclockwise. Okay. I say counterclockwise for the American viewers. <laughs> for the non American viewers, anti clockwise. Yes. Yeah. Okay, other flags. Can't remember. We'll look that one up in a minute. This one, this is cool. Mm -hmm. Use this one to get rid of all traitors in one column. Okay. Whereas the Exc Excalibur will only get rid of one, and a shield will only protect you from one. That gets rid of all of them in one column. So if you've managed to s collect multiple ones, yeah. you're going to get three more traitors at the end of the round, by the way. So they, they do you damage, they disappear, you're going to get three more. Oh, okay, I see, yeah. This one, it means that you can do two missions in a turn instead of one. Mm -hmm. And if you do do a second mission, you get an extra two points. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So let's look up the orange one again. Oh, no, I know what that is. After you've moved, do the action where somebody else is, not okay. you. Okay. So choose another player and you mm -hmm. actually... So whilst it's a roll and move game, yeah. you have so much choice, <laughs> yeah. especially with Merlin... Yeah. But also you have the flags and the apple that manipulate the dice and allow you to do all sorts of different things. Right, let's go through what happens at the end of a round. End of the round is really simple. Okay. You move the round marker on, mm -hmm. you pass the start player marker, we yeah. get our dice back. Okay. Right? Yeah. Scoring, which is what happens after rounds two, four, and six, mm -hmm. we score the environs board, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, we score the principalities based on the influence markers. You lose points for your traitors except if you've got the shields. The shields go. Yeah. Um, Excalibur will get you three points if you've got, uh, if, if you manage to get rid of all of your traitors. And you also get one point for every vassal which is on the board. 
On this board? On this board. Oh, okay. So that's summarised here, slightly off camera, but basically there is a there is a scoring thing up here, and I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, I did say I was going to mention the Grail. The Grail will break one tiebreaker during scoring. Okay. So at some point in scoring where you're tied with somebody else and you're going to share the points, you can say, I'm going to use the Grail, and you put the Grail on the board, and then that just denotes that you've used it. And it goes back to there. Uh, let me just check. Well, I suppose if people can keep taking the Grail off you by going on that space, yeah. you probably want to use it as quick as you can. Don't you? Well, no, you use it in scoring. Mm. Um, let me just check who gets it back afterwards. Um, end of the game, scoring, the Grail. The player in possession of the Grail can use it uh, to break ties in their favour. Um, in the Principality scoring, so not the Environ scoring, only for the Principality scoring. After all six Principalities have scored, the player takes back the Grail. So you get it back. Okay. Yeah, you get it back afterwards. There's another thing I wanted to check about Excalibur. What happens if you have Excalibur and you go onto the space with Excalibur? You still do it. You still defeat a traitor, but then you you take it. You, you've already got it, so you don't you don't take it. Okay. Right. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. When you score here, yep. Does this get reset nope. or does this carry nope. forward? No, that carries forward. Okay. Yeah. End of the game. You'll notice here there's an apple and there's a staff. That basically means the end of game scoring mm -hmm. is one point for apple, two points per staff. And then every three unused other stuff, shields, flags, resource cubes. Combined, is that? Yeah, every th combine all of those together, divide by three, one point for that. Okay. That's it. That was a, that was a, that was a rules dump. Not a lot. <laughs> okay. But that was everything. If you've got any questions, do you know what your mission cards in your hand do so that you've got a sort of short-term objective? I think so. Okay. How's everybody in the chat this evening? How many people in the chat have played this game? And how many people haven't played the game? So just let us know in the chat if you have played it or not. Yeah. And how many people in the chat have watched the Monty Python film? Oh, everybody. Uh, answer the, everybody. <laughs> yeah. The entire chat is just Monty Python <laughs> references, which which was discussed this afternoon. So I, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Right. So it's your turn. Me to start. Yeah. A okay. wide variety of choices. Um, I want to put down one of these somewhere, one of my vassals. So where where do I go? Could I put one in? Absolutely. That? Yep. Okay. So I so one, two, three, four. I will use my four. So you put that in the middle. You move it four. To move to there. Yep. And so these are my two cards here with a, a man with a shield or a man with a flag. So yep. I can to choose. Either one of those. Okay. But it has to be the box one which would be of no benefit to me would it well that's where this is yeah but what i'm saying sorry is that i because there's no traitor there that's not of any benefit to me to put it there uh oh taking a fox shield mm -hmm. is of no benefit to you yeah unless you get one of those later on later on okay so can i put that one there and take a you take flag. a flag or take a cube or put an influence mark you can only take a cube if you use that one which i don't want to do so i will yeah. put this one here uh where is he? Third space. Third one yep. there. You take a flag. Take a flag, which goes over here. Yeah, and then you reveal that mission from your hand. Hello. That one there. You get a point. You get one point. That gets discarded. Okay. We'll put that off camera. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get either that card or one of those three. So lots of people in the chat have not played. Jill's played the base part of the big box only. Oh, and Michael's also played the base game. Right, okay. And Stasi has played, but it's been a while. Yes, it's been a while for me. Jeff's played as well. I would like that one. So okay, that and one that gets replaced the immediately. Okay. And there we go. My go. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to try and get... Because you can do one mission per turn at no cost, mm. you kind of want to do it. Yeah. But actually doing it with the dice that I've got is a tricky thing. <laughs> Because I've not rolled a four, which means I can't get to a principality. And a lot of these cards. You can't are, use your flag to do anything with I could. Do, I can move, use my flag to go counterclockwise. <clears throat> I do have an apple. I think I'm probably going to use the apple. Already? Wow, okay. Yeah, because I want a four mm -hmm. in order to get something on. Yeah, this will be right. Now, 
in order for me to decide which of these dice I want to turn into a four, I need to work out what I'm going to do after. Other than that, yeah, okay. Which is actually going to be that. So I am eating an apple, turning the one into a four, okay. and going four spaces to here. Mm -hmm. I am placing shield guy in here, which is great for me because I actually have a purple traitor. So that's good. And then I will reveal that mission card for having that guy in that principality. I get a point. Okay. And I get a new card now. Oh gosh. I don't want any of them. No, the, those first two are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was like an action that you could just refresh them all. Uh, so I'm just going to take a card from the top of the deck. Right, there we go. Cool. Uh, John's in the chat. Dice tokens cards, what mechanisms are in play? Roll and move. It is roll and move. Like Monopoly? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Monopoly. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. exactly the same. Monopoly set in Merlin times. Yeah, we'll be here all night. <laughs> yeah. Right. Gemma. If you are overwhelmed with choices, then forget your apple. Well, have a look at your four mission cards. Is there any of them that you can do? No. Okay. Were well, you were in the same position I was in? I think? Yeah. Oh, possibly. I don't know. As I say, there is little advantage to me knowing what missions you've got. So if you wanted to show me... Could you move zero if you wanted no. to? You have okay. to move exactly the I was number... I thinking of using that one yeah, to go and get that, but I can't do it. Um... Obviously, the ones that are worth three are harder to do. Mm. Okay, okay, I think I'm going to use my four dice yep. to move. You move to the Black Dragon there. Principality. Yep. And place any one of your vassals on the board. I want to get a shield, so. Yep. That will be. be yep, yeah, shield guy. Mm -hmm. That one there? Yep. Yeah. So you take one of the shields and yeah. you put it there. There. Yep. No mission? No mission. Okay. Nick? Okay. And how many turns do we get each round again? Four each round. Four. So it's one, one per dice. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Now, I'm enjoying this so much, if we can play really quickly, because then we can play again afterwards. <laughs> I know we're only one turn in, and it's been three years since I played it. I think I just like playing games. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five years, and I'm starting to just just realise I actually enjoy playing games. Um, I would like to be the first person to move Merlin. Oh right. So <clears throat> now you can go to the way round. Yeah. So I'm going to go anti-clockwise. Yeah. For our English viewers, and I want to. Okay. Off we go then. Here, Where would you like to build? To so I've got to spend a grey cube. It, yeah, you've only got grey, yeah. so it's going to have to be somewhere on that up line. there or along here. And isn't it? Oh, can I go in? And the towers are just better. But that would only get me one point, would it? That's so true. I say towers are better. Yeah. That That is in a territory of one. Mm -hmm. So in the scoring, it will get you one point. Every round? Uh, in a scoring round. Three times, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for it, please. Okay. So, so where, where is it? Oh, back on that the board. just goes back on the board, and you instantly get a influence anywhere, or a flag, or a shield. What was the benefit of having influence again? Uh, in the scoring round, yeah. the player in each oh. principality with the most influence yeah. scores one point per influence in that principality. Not of theirs, of everybody's. Okay. So if you end up in a hotly contested area, mm. whoever's got the most can actually get quite a lot. Okay. I feel a bit spoiled for choice here. Um, where is my influence? Where is it? It's in Dragon. I'm just trying to think how this can help with my cards. Okay, they're not castles, they're manors. Manors. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I can take a flag, can't I? Mm -hmm. So can I take... I'm going to lean across the board. I would like to take this blue yep. one, and I will then achieve that one for two points. You've got a blue flag and yep. a purple flag. You get two points. Cool. So I then can choose one. Uh, they're all really tricky. I'm going to gamble. That's the same. <laughs> so what I've done yeah. is I've actually planned out my three moves. Have you? Yeah. Which is why when I was deciding which one to use the apple on, mm -hmm. I'd already worked out what I was going to use these two for. So you're going to go six, three, three. Yeah. Okay. So the six is going to go there and gets me Excalibur. Okay. And Excalibur is going to kill... I need to look at which... 
he's going to kill this one. So that traitor is gone. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it off camera. He does go to a discard pile. And if we ever run out of these, mm -hmm. which we probably won't in a three-player game, but you do in a four-player game, we'll reshuffle. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it sounded like I had everything sorted then, didn't it? It did. I was thinking bloody hell. I am, <laughs> I am unfortunately not doing a mission. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not doing a mission. So that's my go done. Okay. Oh, how you feeling? Um, so can nobody else take Excalibur? You can. You can just steal it off me. Absolutely. That was actually going so to one of the game. tricks that I've just remembered of this game is keep an eye on Merlin. Mm. So I planned my entire round mm. for my knight, but what I should have done is I should have looked at where Merlin was and thought, oh, actually, mm. where can I get with the three? Yeah. So yeah, keep an eye on, on Merlin. So I'm going to use my Merlin mm -hmm. for, and I can go this You can way. go that way, and you can steal Excalibur from me, and you kill... And I want to kill this one. Yep, so I just pop that off camera. Done. And I haven't done a card. Oh, Matt's here in the chat with his puns. Mind your manners. <laughs> I love it. I've missed you, Matt. I really have. Three. So what's this one here? For every flag, I can take a... For every flag you have, you get one point. That's pretty good for me. For now. you, I think. I mean, I don't know what the optimum <laughs> number of points you can get from them. I was going to look to see if you can have multiple flags of the same type. I think you can. One, two. Yeah, you said you did say. Well, I, yeah, I said I'd check flags. It's a question for the chat. If you know the game, can you have multiple flags of the same type? I yeah. think you can. Cool. I'm going to. So I put my one in there. I'll move one space, and I'll take three victory points. Yep. He's winning. We should uh, gang up on him. Flags. So each flag allows one special action. You can use as many flags as you want on your turn. Okay. So you could combine a blue flag mm -hmm. and then use the brown flag to move anti-clockwise and then teleport. Okay. Um, after it's been used, a flag is returned. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not 100% sure. Stasia says, thinks you can. I think you can. Right, my go. So where is Merlin now? And where is three going to get me? See, that exchanging quests actually doesn't look too bad, considering I've got a pile of rubbish. Did you draw them from the draw part yeah. rather than the event yeah. ones? So I discard two, and then I take two new ones. Okay. Um, but, 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 but. No, I'm going to move me first. Oh, because you two have already moved Merlin, so Merlin isn't going to move again. No. So it doesn't actually matter whether I do it now or after. No, I'm going to do my knight first. So move two. Just realised. I could go anti-clockwise. But then, if I did that... No. I'm going to move to here. Uh, and I'm going to play Flagman. Take that. And then I'm going to reveal that mission for having Flagman in that principality and get a point. And I will take... See, this is starting to look a little bit more appealing. Um, don't forget the Merlin staffs as well. Yep. What are they doing again? Uh, when you move Merlin, mm -hmm. you can perform the action twice. Oh, okay. And how many points are we getting in the game? Two. two each, you said. Two each at the end of the game. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this one. That's not a lot of points, though, is it? Two each? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so you can you a... remind me what this one does again? So this one, you get an apple when you take it. Yeah. And in the scoring, you can use it to break the ties oh, okay. in any yeah. influence area. But yeah, an apple being able to change one yeah, of your dice to any good. number is yeah. pretty I think powerful. I'm going to do that, so move okay. six. There. Yeah. And you can have the apple. And I'll put another apple on that space. Oh. Any missions? Um, no. <laughs> um, what are you on? The grail there. Uh, Work out. Page seven of the rule book. A player may have multiple flags of any one kind. Thank you very much. 
I knew it would be in there somewhere. The Queen game rule books tend to be pretty good. So I'm going to go three. So one, two, three. Um, and I want to put. You have to play the lady in waiting to do that. I have to do what? Sorry. How do I do that? Just pop the lady in waiting. Oh, this one here. Onto there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I just, okay, I understand. Right. My go? Well, I'm using the three. And I'm going to move Merlin one, two, three. I'm just going to do the action once. I will be spending a black cube. Mm -hmm. And I will be placing one of my manners. Here. And I am going to take a orange flag. No, I'm not. I'm taking a grey flag. And then I am going to use this mission, which is a grey flag and a brown flag. Okay. So two points. And I get a new card. And I will take. Hmm. I'll take that one, I think. Okay. So last action of this round. Thank you. Two. The fishes. And um, I want to move this you want to move one, that one over. Yeah, so that goes there. Over. And you get that shield. This shield. And I have finally done. Yay! What have you got then? Um, this one. The fish. Yep, the have that guy in that place. One point. One point, brilliant. Sorted. <laughs> okay, and then you take a new, new mission. Right, end of the round. Yeah. So because it's round one, we simply move the round marker on. This moves on. We all get our dice back. Mm -hmm. We roll, and again, if you you've got to roll three different numbers at least. Okay. Otherwise, you re-roll them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're now in round two. There is going to be a scoring at the end of this round. Okay. So let's have a look what we've got. And I have no apples. Okay. That's no good, that's no good, that's no good. Okay, so I'm going to use my four. We're going to visit the Dragon Principality. I am going to place... Um, cube Guy onto here to get myself one of these, which is another black cube, which is not ideal. No, it's okay. But I now have cube guy and shield guy on the board. So I get a point. And I'm going to take that one since I've already done it. Okay, done. Simon's in the chat. This moves at a fair clip. Yes. Until it's my go. Until it's your go. Now you're all right for your traitors. Yeah. So your traitors are sorted, and if you manage to keep Excalibur, that's another three points. Yeah. So that's good. That's one less thing to worry what about. What does the, the lady waiting do again? Gets you an influence. An influence. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, right. Um, I'm going to use. Oh no. No, I'm not. Oh, I've got the grey flag. Could have used that. There is much counting going on. What does um, this, this one do again? Uh, so choose a principality in which you have at least one influence yeah. and get a resource cube from that from principality. That. Okay. Hmm. 
My cards are all rubbish. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> my dice thing. That's, that's okay. what these spaces are for. Don't forget, you oh, got your yeah, apple. Course, you got yeah. two apples, in fact. Oh yeah. Um, can I spend it? A... Absolutely. Spend an apple to change any dice to any number. So I can choose that it don't yeah. have to roll. Yeah. Perfect. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm going to change. Yeah. Um. Mm. Number two. And number four. Okay. So I can go here. Yep. And I'm going to put Lady in Waiting. Lady down. Which gets you an influence in here. In there. And yep. I've also now done this one because I have both the Lady in Waiting and the Shield Guy. Shield Guy down. Yep. So you get a point. Done. Okay. And get a new mission. Oh, yeah. It feels like a mistake moving Merlin so quickly, but I'm going to stay. So you're going to do it. One, actually, I'm going to go. Yeah. Yeah. And I would like to move this lady over to here. Mm -hmm. Can you and put an influence I'll in there? Influence mark in there. I sense a mission. It's coming on. Or actually, can I put? Mm. Yeah, no, that'll do. I'm okay. Do that. Interesting. You did that <laughs> because I was about to kick you out of there. Good. <laughs> I don't know how I was about to kick you out of there, but I was going to do it somehow. There was <laughs> yeah, a way. Just, there was a way. Maybe it was with Merlin, and you've moved Merlin, so maybe I can't now do it. Coices. Okay. That's fine. I can still do this. So I'm going to use my... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's how I was going to do it. I'm doing the one. I'm moving here. So this allows me to choose a principality where I have influence mm -hmm. there and place one of my vassals there, which gets me to put an influence yeah. there. And then I'm going to use this gray flag to complete those two missions because mm -hmm. I have the people. So yeah. I get two points plus another two points. So I actually get four points. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then I get two new missions now well i'm going to take that one because i've already done that one and that gets replenished immediately and i'm going to take one from the top of the deck done yeah michael is saying there are a lot of good choices in this game what what he, they've done the designers is they've they've taken the roll and move mechanism and they have given you a lot of choices mm, a lot of choices a lot of choices <laughs> yeah Alrighty. And I am absolutely cheating. Yeah, definitely cheating. My score marker is magnetised and I've actually yeah. got Loki under the table with a little saying. magnet, moving it forward. Thinking. Don't know. <laughs> so you can move Merlin two either way, or yeah. yourself one or five clockwise. Or I can change one with my apple. You've got an apple, yep. Depends on your mission cards, I guess. What does this icon mean again? It allows you to pick up one of your vassals from yeah. any principality, move them one space clockwise or anti-clockwise, and then do the action as if they okay. moved there. So things that are going to score at the end of this round, each one of these you have on the board here is going to get you a point. You're going to get points for this, yeah. and you're going to get points for your influence markers as well at the end of the round. So at the moment, you're getting one point for this. You're the only one there. You're going to get one point for this. You're not getting any points for this. Your traitors is all sorted. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use um, five dice yeah. to move him. So that's and get one, it's one point for each flag you have. I'll take my one. Okay. Mm, okay. There really is a lot of choice in this game. Isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go four. And I'm going to move to here. Yeah. 
And what was it that this one did again? Uh, oh. It allows you to remove all traitors from one column. Okay, so I will use. I don't want the shield. Black cube. Yeah, I will take. So the, what that does is that kicks me out of there. Sorry, Paul. That's all right. All done. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go. Th uh, where's Merlin? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go three. I'll go one, two, three. And since you kicked me out, I'll go in there and get a grey cube. And I'm going to do that one. I need to have two people mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Two points. And I'm going to take. Um, I am nowhere close to it. And I've got one in there. Am I going to be able to get another one in there? I don't think so. Let's take one of these, see what we get. Oh, OK, right. I'm going to spend my apple, change this one to a three. Mm -hmm. I realize I've got this I need to get rid of. And then I'm going to Oh, am I getting move. kicked out again? Shield. All oh, right, OK, there. yeah, get you that. And then I've done You're this done. one for two. I've got the fish you shield got that and that. that yep, one. so you get two points. Mm. One action left and I need to get... Okay, yeah, can do it. Um, I want to do everything. That's the <laughs> everything. Okay, uh, I'm going to use my apple um, to change this uh, to to a one. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to move here. Yep. And I'm going to put. Do I need a dragon? I seem to be always looking for the ones I don't need. Um. I'm going to put this one onto here. Yep. I take that one there, yep. which goes up here, and then I've got two people in, in that, that principality. Area, so yep. I will complete that. Two points. Thank you for two points. And I can take another one, can't I? Right. The only die I have left is Merlin. Six. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I think. I'm going to use my Merlin staff to do this action twice. <laughs> I'm going to spend a black cube and a grey cube. Yeah. So I am going to place my first mana is going on the black cube line. Oh, this isn't ideal. Going here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get a shield from that in a minute. And then the grey one is going here. So the shield that I'm taking is obviously that one. Okay. Now, have I done a mission? Nope. 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 Done. Tobias is here. Good evening, Tobias. Um, okay, so I've got my Merlin. Um, two moves mm -hmm. but i'm actually going to use my flag to move him across the board i think that's just your knight oh, oh. okay oh, i nice. think got it's it. just your knight got it. Got it. let me just check because i think the icon on it looks like the knight i will just check after the player has moved a figure no, 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 hang on. It's it's brown, isn't it? Um, yeah, after a player has moved their knight. So unfortunately, it has to be a knight. Okay. It's the orange one that's any figure. Okay, then I'm actually going to go the other way. I'm going to my two that way. Uh, where was it? It was on. It was, it was there. And you used the two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. 
I'm going to move this one to put some influence. Mm -hmm. in so then you can use the grail to break ties. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tobias is asking, would it be classed as a heavy or medium game? Definitely medium. Yeah. yeah. Heavy gamers would class this as light medium. Um, and light gamers would class this as heavy. But no, it, it's a medium weight game as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what the weight rating is on BGG. But yeah, for me, it's medium. Um, what are you on the bird? Um, I'm going to. Can I? Can you use as many of these? As many go? of them as you want. Yeah. So I've got a five. Yeah. So could I go? I can't go to there. Take the grail, the apple, and then use one of these and use that. Correct. I can't. I can't mm. do both of those actions. Wh which action? So sorry. So I want to. I'm going to get rid of one of these. Yeah, you can do that. And then, but then, could I use this one here to move to where blue? No, no, no. Because the move. action is mm. that. Yeah. So okay. the orange one would yeah. allow you to do the action here instead of that. Okay. Not as well as. Um, I will do that then. Please. So you're spending that flag. So I will move. To you don't here. move there. No. You, you stay here. Oh, okay. But you perform the action where another knight is. Okay. So I will move this shield to here. Take this one with the bird that goes there. Mm -hmm. And with that one there, I'm going to remove. Doesn't make any difference, I suppose. This one here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then they go. Those, back goes back, those go back, and that is the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll do our normal end of round stuff. We we'll take our dice back. Give them a roll. Move the start player on, and we move the round marker on. But now we'll do scoring. Okay. So what should we score first? Let's do the traitors first. So my shields protect me from these two, so I lose those shields. Those get discarded. Yours do the same, but then you gain three points because you've got Excalibur. Uh, Nick, so they go points. and I lose You lose points. three points for that, yeah. That can go. Shield goes back. Right, so that's the traitors done. Uh, next, let's score the environs board. So I get two points for this. Mm -hmm. I get four points for this. So I get six. It gets one. Okay. Uh, people on the board. I've got four. Nick, you've got four. So you get four points. Jeremy, you've got two. So you get two points. And influence. So start with this one. Do you want to use your grail to break the ties? Yes, I do. So you, you put the grail on there. That one? Uh, it's the one that's the grail. That's it. <laughs> so you get two points because there's two influence markers there. So that's two points for you. Nobody's here. Uh, Gemma, you get one point for here. You get one point for here. Nick, you get one for there. I get three for here. Goodness. And then you get the grail back. And I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. So. Do we take new traitors? We take new traitors. Yeah. Do the influence markers stay? Oh, yeah. You, all but one for me. So I lose that one. But everything else stays. Okay. Okay. So who have we got? That one. Got that one. Finally. And we got that one. Gemma, you're up. Um so I get I still keep both. You of still these. keep both of those, yeah. Okay. So yeah, my environment scoring did me well there. It did, didn't it? I think it was definitely worth using um, one of the staffs to do a double action. Um, I'm going to use... Say hello to Merlin. Um, so I want to get the shield. I'm already there. Can I do... No, no actually, that's... You have no, to... No, I'm actually... My shield is here, actually, oh, well, so that's I perfect. can. So yeah. I can just do that. You go there, you get the black shield. Oh. Knock Kill Merlin. Sorry, Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. So now it's not looking good. Three, 
four and six. Hmm. Okay, I will use my six. Yep. To go here. Yep. Um. And I will put my shield there. So sorry, Paul, I'm knocking you out again. So he gets kicked right, out, okay. comes home. That yep. Me. The luminous cleric is here. Thank you very much. Yes, it is a good game. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my four. Oh, let's have a look at Merlin first. No, Merlin's no good for me at the moment. I'm going to use that four. I'm going to move my knight to here. And... Hmm. I'm going to move my standard bearer to here, getting me another blue flag, because I do like my blue flags. <laughs> but that gets me a point for this mission. Right, now let's have a look at these new missions. What have we got? Uh, okay, I'm going to take... One from here. We're doing this a lot more than I thought we would. Really? Because I'm, yeah. really, I'm getting really annoyed that I can't complete it. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me really mad. <laughs> It's interesting because if you stockpile stuff, mm. the chances are you'll be able to do your missions. But if you're stockpiling it, you're not actually doing anything else. Yeah. Next. It's yeah. another apple. Okay, so three, four, and two. You've still got an apple? No, you've used yours. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think this makes sense on two levels, but I'm going to put my four down. I'm going to move to here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to move my shield again. Yeah. Which I don't think it's great to keep moving the same thing, but I then take that it's one. It's getting you what you need. I sort the traitor, and I complete this card here, exactly. adding a shield in with the fox. Uh, with this card, keep that in there. And then point. Are these any good? Don't forget your point. Oh yeah, thanks. Um. Snake with the snake. I'm past it. Mm. Sorry, I've got the AP. There we go. One. <laughs> right, so that's no good. That's no good. Okay, I think I'm gonna oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend six. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to swap to quests. I don't want that one. Um, and I also don't want that one. And then I draw two new quests. So I'm going to take that one, which gets replenished. And I'll take that one, which gets replenished. What does this marker here do? Uh, so choose a principality in which you have at least one influence and then get a shield oh, okay. from that principality. Right. I can't do any of my missions, so that's me done. No one's moved Merlin yet. Everyone's too afraid. Yeah. They want to see what their better options would be. When <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move my shield. Mm -hmm. um, get a blue shield. Oh, no, wait. Not a, sh not a shield. Sorry. Sorry. Um, what, which okay. particular piece is it that you'd it was like? the flag I wanted, which is So that kicks that him one. out. Oh, Paul, you get kicked out every time, yes, you? that's the way it goes. Um, could you pass me one of the flags, please? But this is, this is what I'm saying. The pe mm. Some people say that this is a take that game. You didn't go there to kick me out. Kicking me out was a side effect of you going there. So I, I don't think that class is a take that. What do you think in the chat? Do you think that that is a take that mechanism? I don't, I don't think it is. No. Uh, so the points tracker is, uh, it looks like it is the, yeah, the roof, because we've got the pillars. Oh, 
yeah. I Hold, didn't holding that. up the, oh, the roof, cool. so yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice, nice artwork. Nice, graphic design is really good. Very clear. Three. I've got any apples. Mm. Where's brown cubes? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend this one here, this flag, to allow me to move out to clockwise. I'll mm -hmm. use my three, and I'll go one, two, three, mm -hmm. and I'll take a brown cube. Right. Um, that one goes back. So, uh... I need to do so many things. <laughs> but I do have this. So I could teleport to there. Gets me a point, so that's no good. I could move anti-clockwise and then teleport to there. That's, which... quite a, that's a really good space, I think. It is. It's just not going to help me at the moment with that. No. So even after switching my missions, I'm still a bit stuck. So your Merlin is a three. Your Merlin is a two. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because moving one for me is there, and I don't have any cubes. So that's oh, yeah. it's no good. So I'm going to move Merlin. I'm going to move him two. I'm going to move here. And I am going to swap this blue flag, because I've got two of them, for... A blue cube. Done. Yeah. Uh, solo variant. I've heard, and somebody might want to look this up, that there is a BGG uh, unofficial solo variant. I think so. I think so. Tobias is going back to watch the football game. No problem. I suppose if it is a take that, you can. I can see why people call it that, but it's probably the mildest take that I've ever seen in any game, maybe. For me, take that is I'm deliberately taking an action to mess you up. But the problem is, is that I don't know what's on your cards. No. So I can't really be True. doing take that to take the points off you because True. I don't know what you're trying, I don't know what you're working towards. Yeah. What does um, this icon mean again? So choose a principality where you have influence. Yeah get a flag from that principality. So for you, that's get blue, purple, either blue, or purple, or black. black. Okay. Yeah, I might do that. There you go. And I want a... What does the black one do again? Black one allows you to remove all traitors from one column. So should you end up with multiple traitors in the oh. same column, which none of us have got, mm. Might go for it though. Yep. So I just take it. I don't need to put my person down. Nope. Okay. I was hoping you'd do that. So I'm going to move Merlin two. And I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to spend a flag, a staff. What we call yeah. Staff. So I can do it twice. And I'm going to spend my brown and my black. Cube. Okay. So I would like to go here. With my brown cube. Uh, yeah? Nope, that's orange. That's what? That's orange. Where's brown then? There. It looks grey to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go there, that's even better. Oh, so that's going to be... Okay. So I'll go here. Yeah. That's... Is that, is that brown? That's brown. My eyes don't that's work. That's brown. Yeah. And I only know that's brown because that's orange and that's grey. Okay. And then what was the other colour I had? Black. Black. Where can I go for that one? Can I go... Where does that point to? There. Yeah. Can I do that? That's pretty awesome. That is so pretty that's awesome. two towers and seven points in the scoring. I did that on purpose. I Should you if, still be there? I don't know if you can tell. What do I want to take then? So I can take two of anything. Two things. Let's, let's have a look at let's have a look at my cards. Let's let's do this. 
Can I put an influence marker down with those towers? Yes. I can. Um, who's on... So if I put an influence marker here, I get two points. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then if I took... Oh, I've got a blue cube. I can't do that one. What do I need for this one here? I've got the shield. Yeah, I've got that one. Go. Mm. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, which completes that card there. Remember, you can only do one mission per turn. I thought you could... Because there's something you can spend to... You can spend a grey flag to do two missions. Oh. Okay, well, I'll put that there anyway. Yeah. And then this one here, which I can then do... I will take, which is that flag? That's a grey flag. Grey flag. Are we going to get into a timing conundrum question here? Yeah, we will in a minute. Can I do, can I spend that flag instantly to do, no, I won't do it. But I will, so that then completes that card there, Let, yeah. Let's see if that's answered in the, in the rules. Could you? <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll see if it's in there. If not, if somebody knows on BGG, if somebody has answered it. So the flag says... The player resolves two mission cards on their turn. If they do, they gain two additional points. The player may resolve a second mission card after. The player may resolve a second mission card after resolving the first. So the question is: Can I do it if I took it on the same turn? If you resolve it after, though, and I know I'm, it's in my interest. Yeah. The question is: I don't think you can. Oh, you can you can turn. you resolve this mission, mm -hmm. and then spend the grey flag to resolve a second mission? Is that the timing, or is it that you have to spend the flag in order to be able to resolve two missions? If you're resolving it in the same turn, if we take these away, yeah. I complete that one. That's what I'm thinking. And then I spend that one. To complete the second one. And then I complete that one. Yeah. We'll, we'll say that that's allowed. Okay. If anybody knows otherwise, let me know. Don't let us know. No. <laughs> okay, so that's five points, then I get the extra two. You get seven points. Seven points. Yeah. That's on 12. So, was, that, was that 12? Yeah, so I think that's 19. So these two go, please. Do you want to pick up two more? Uh, Stazir is asking if the solo variant is in the big box. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I've not read to the end of the rule book. I, don't, I thought the solo variant was an unofficial one, but there's no mention of the solo variant in here, and I have the big box. Right. But if there is a solo variant, I'm keen to give it a go. I'm going to show you the camera this. I didn't pick that one up because I didn't want it. I picked and you that got one. You the exact same one. Oh yeah. no, it's, not, it's slightly different. It's only slightly different for the thing that we're not using. Oh, okay. Right. My go. I got a one. I will move to here and I will spend my blue cube go. to build in. Oh no, I can't. Somebody else has just built there. Okay. Curses. Happens the best. <laughs> um, so I'll build here instead. Which gets me a thing. What thing do I want? I'm going to take a brown shield. Put it there. Okay. End of the round. So we move on to round four. We're halfway through the game. We get our dice back. Start player no, passes. Really. Yeah. Yeah, that was round three. Oh. oh, you're the start player. Ping for a day. Just before we start round four, for those people that are watching, uh, this is not a sponsored playthrough video. This video is only made possible thanks to the support of the Patreon campaign. So if you do enjoy the content that I create and you want to help keep the show going, please consider supporting me. Uh, the link is in the bottom right, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, as a Patreon member, you get access to all sorts of special behind-the-scenes uh, views and community and everything else. So Merlin says, some of the Queenie add-ons allow more control over the dice. Yes, I've heard that. Somebody told me this afternoon that, because I said, I think there's already enough ways to manipulate your dice, but some of the little add-ons mm. add even more oh, options to change your dice. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you for that. I'm going to ask a question then. I forgot what it was. It's gone for me now. Um, oh yes, that was it. I've got two the same, but it's three That's the fine. same. Yeah. Three yeah. Okay. You've got to have three different numbers amongst your dice. Okay. Ooh, big numbers. <laughs> big jumping around for you. Um, 
Right, how am I going to do any of these? I'm not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, ooh. Okay, I'm going to spend my five. One, two, three, four, five. So you take Excalibur, take Excalibur, kill one of your traitors. Okay. And then this one, these then stay. They stay. Once. Yeah. Yeah, shield strikes. Okay. Um, I suppose that one. Okay. So I have two uses for my one. I think it might have to be oh, so tricky. <laughs> um, and I've got these traitors to worry about as well. They're causing me uh, causing me a lot of anxiety. These traitors because that's minus six points that I'm staring at at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to play, oh, but then if I do that, I can't do that. Your Merlin is a six, but you could move him on either way. Your Merlin is a two. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to do this first. I'll move one to here. I will place shield guy there, which kicks you out, and I get one of those. So that makes me feel better about that. Unfortunately, no mission. Okay. I'm going to play my four dice into here and move my flag mm -hmm. right there. And I have completed this one. I have four flags. Four flags, three points. Nicely done. Well done. Thank yeah. You. Three points. Yes. And three. Yes. I have a new mission. Oh, new one. So it looks like the mix of missions, there are fewer three point missions in the deck. Doesn't feel that way. Yeah, no. Oh right. Me. Okay. <laughs> just that's where all the three point missions are. There. In, in our hands. I'm yeah. stuck with ones and twos. Um. Okay, so I can move Merlin to. Um. No one or a five. Sorry, or two would get me to there. So talking of the solo variant, uh, has anybody played the solo variant for this game? If you have, let me know, either live if you're watching this live, or leave a comment on the video if you have tried the solo variant. Okay, um, I'm going to use this one, this flag here. Oops. We flip this dice over to a two. Yep. Uh, I'm going to move to there. Uh, I'm going to put another in Prince Market. You have to put a lady in waiting for that. Oh, where is someone now? So there we are. Oh, <laughs> so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I will get my revenge. Yeah, it'll, it'll come soon. Uh, so I'm going to use a two to move to here. I will take Excalibur from yourself. Yeah. And I will kill this traitor here. Die. Okay, done. Oh, uh, missions? No. No missions. Um, I'm going to spend my apple. Yep. Change and um, thank you. Uh, this dice to a from a five to a four. And I'm going to. Okay, so Stasia has found the solo variant on BGG, but there's no comments on how it plays. Okay. Sorry, Nick. I'm kicking you out. That's me. Oh. Ah! Oh, sorry. Ah, Look at this. <laughs> That's fine. Um, it's fine. So I'm taking that one. And I've also done this one. So a blue flag. Blue flag, purple, purple cube, orange shield. Orange shield. It's another three another points. Three points. <sighs> Look at this. Three points. One, two, three. Really struggling with my dice here today. Um, was that two influences? Yeah, if you've got no apples and you've got no flags, mm. you are at the mercy of your mm. dice. 
Can I spend that one, move to here, and then can I complete a card I pick up on that turn? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Uh, so you I'm discard two. Get rid of this one that I hate. Yeah. That one that I hate even more. Okay. <laughs> you can pop those over there. So they're gone. And I'm going to take this one that I'm going to complete instantly, which is for two influence markers within this area here. So that one goes in a second, or...? Yeah, you take your second one first. Complete the action first. I'm going to take a random one. Yeah. Oh, look, another two. And then you complete a mission. Can you have more than one shield, can you? For... Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, just like flags. Yeah, at any point on your turn. Okay, so I'll complete that one for two points. Mm -hmm. So that one then gets discarded again. And then you get another new one. Not a three. Oh, a one. How fantastic. Um, if, if I wanted to use this one to defeat Think, can you do it any time? Or... I think on your turn. On your turn. I think so. But I think I'd probably let you do it during the scoring. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, got another two turns, though, so I wouldn't worry. Right. I already decided what I want to do, then. Oh, you're using other flags, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to get there. How am I going to get there? Yeah. I've got a six. Six gets me to there. That's not good. No, that's not good at all. Right. Oh, gosh. What about teleporting? No. What about going the other way around? No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help and that doesn't help. What about Merlin? Does that help? No. Merlin doesn't help either. He's rubbish. So we're just going to use him to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. I've got three shields, so I get three points. That seems okay. Three points. Um, but no missions for me. Yeah, so I could, if I wanted to, use Merlin's staff at that point to get another three points. Yeah. Because they're worth two at the end of the game. But I think I'm going to save it for now. Yeah, I'm going to save it. <laughs> so apparently I need to be your guinea pig and try out the solo variant. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that as a uh, Patreon exclusive Paul plays through the solo variant. <laughs> yeah. I will add it to the list uh, for you to vote on. Because I'll be, I'll be doing a Patreon vote next week on which solo playthrough I will be playing the week afterwards. So I will, I will add it to the list. Or, if you send me a pack of Jaffa Cakes, I'll do anything for a pack of Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> we bought some strawberry Jaffa Cakes the other day. We bought some strawberry ones. The bring, strawberry I ones are all right. some around, but they didn't last very long, did no, they? No, no, no. <laughs> the lemon and lime ones, I didn't think I was going to like. Right, okay. But then they grew on me. Okay. The pineapple ones, awful. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. The pi I had like two of them, yeah. and then Vicky finished the rest of them. Are they like proper, like, um, who makes Jaffa Cakes again? What are they called? McVitties. McVitties. Because Aldi is stuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody oh, yeah. was doing like all sorts of different flavors. Yeah. Like, yeah. And what does this icon mean again? Sorry. So you move one of your vassals, yeah. um, either one principality clockwise or anti clockwise. People watching this video who haven't seen any of my other videos will be thinking, why are they talking about Jaffa Cakes? <laughs> and in fact, I'm sure some people will be thinking, what's a Jaffa Cake? Yeah. If you don't know what a Jaffa Cake is, so Stasi is wondering if you can get them in Texas. I think you can. Um, you can definitely get them from certain, certain places in America. Monica's in the chat. Monica's been swimming again. Excellent. Good to see you, Monica. Thank you for joining in. While Gemma's deciding a turn, you, she, you made some Jaffa cakes at home a while back, didn't mm. you? Do the well, jelly, put the chocolate on top. And I think I made them with lime jelly rather than. Right. Why? Which I was. tried to, you know. Get Crazy. Yeah. What does then this icon mean? Swap <laughs> any one of your cubes, flags, or shields yeah. for a cube, flag, or shield. Of any, any, anything. Any color. Yeah, anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, no. So I'm going to move him mm -hmm. to there, and I'm going to swap. Um, I'm now thinking this is base is more powerful than I thought. I'm going to swap my purple cube for a black cube. So you could swap a purple cube for a blue flag, for example. It doesn't have to be cube for cube. It can be anything for anything. No, I'm happy with yep. that. That's fine. Um, and I have done 
hopefully I've got this right. Um, I've got an influence in purple, black nope. cube, and that shield. You do? So that's another three points. Please. Another three points. Yeah. Here's us not, not completing our missions. So Matt can get them in Virginia. So what you're saying, Matt, is you can buy some and put them in the post to Texas. I think I think that's what you're saying. I think that's, I'm reading into it. I'm very upset, Gemma. You've, ta you've taken my move. You've moved Merlin. Sorry. I was going to get loads of points then. Um, what was I going to do? So I can only move Merlin Did you put on my three points? I Sorry. did. Cool. Yeah. You move Merlin two. Yeah. There's no benefit in me going that way because I'm going to accuse no. I must go that way there. Can I get any points from moving anybody? So where's the snake? I've not got anybody. Hmm. What do I need? Flag. Can't make the influence. Can I put influence markers over that? Where's my lady yep. in waiting? So your lady in waiting could move to here. And yeah, put that's an influence what I'm marker here. Yeah, that's quite a big point swing. Yeah, because mm. like that's that. minus one point off Gemma for not having the person on the board. Yeah, and. You get three points instead of Gemma getting two. Yeah, and is there any? I'm just trying to think here. Is there any point in me? Oh, I'd also like to complete that card there. Okay. Yeah. The get a point for that, if you don't mind. Thank you. Is there any point moving? In fact, in? when you just said, "Did I add your points on?" and I said yes, I think I added them to Nick. I'm upset now. <laughs> Can anybody in the chat confirm that? Otherwise, I will watch the video back quickly because uh, I've, I've distracted the chat with Jaffa Cake discussion. <laughs> but thankfully, thanks to the power of watching things back. There you go. See what I did there? What? It's like having hidden cameras in the house. There you go. One, two, oh, three. Yeah. yeah. So I did. I gave the points to Nick. It's like eye in, what do they call it in sport? Eye in the sky, whatever it is. It's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, what, the football thing? Yeah. Um, what's it called? V R. It's eye in the sky. Is, it not, is that what they use in snooker? I can't remember. Something like that. Rugby. Rugby, they do those old like TV things. Somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. can Google it, maybe. Um, <laughs> what's the thing on um, football? Goal line. V V A R. Is it V A R? Could be. Anyway, like yeah, that. it's that. It's just like that. Ask me anything about snooker. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, it's my go, and it's. Not quite the last action, is it? But it's I. So the high choices I have is I can go clockwise or anti-clockwise, and then I could teleport to the other side of the board. But actually, those two, from where I am, are exactly the same thing. So it's it's where do we want to go and what do we want to get? And I can't do any of these missions. So I'm I'm and there's no point me putting an influence on here. No. Uh, is there any point me getting a black flag? No. Is there any point me getting a black cube? Yes, if I could build this turn, which I can't. Is there any point me getting a black shield? No. What about here? Is there any point me getting any of these? No. <laughs> I don't. That's the problem. I don't need anything. Because of my rubbish emissions. What are you? Which? Where, what are you on? Sorry, where have you moved to? I haven't yet. What I'm either moving to there. So what number have you? Got? Or a six. Okay. Or if I use a blue flag, I could move to here. Oh, I see. So it's okay. either there or there. It, there doesn't use a flag, so I'm going to move to here. Um, and yeah, there's no point putting my. What is that it's dragon? Influence out there, so I will put my. Standard bearer out, knock that one back, and get a flag. Which I'll hopefully use at some point in the future. But yeah, no missions again. Right. Video assistant referee, VAR, that was uh, it. Okay. VAR. Thought it was. What does this one do? What does that one do? Yeah. Um, it lets you move one of your battles around the board to an adjacent region. So you could move that one to there, or to there, or... It doesn't let you put them down. Unless you don't have any on the board. 
Oh, is that right? Is yeah, that if you have that? none on the board, you can use that space to put one down anywhere. Hmm. We don't. Oh, um. Oh, sorry. Oh. So you've got a five, which could be a two or a five, yeah. then you can move clockwise or anti-clockwise, and then you could teleport to the other side of the board. So right. you've probably got about <laughs> six choices of where you go. Where are you here? Five would take you to here, would it not? I'm going to... Um... Do you want to change some of your cards out, maybe? Keep your flags? Because flags can be quite useful for scoring. Yeah, but like stealing that. Excalibur is a six-point swing. Yeah. In fact, it's a nine-point swing with relation to me because it takes the three points off me and gets you six points. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I think I've got to do that. I, th so I, I think spend, that's a good that move, yeah. To change it to a change two. Change the five to a two. Grab Excalibur so I can and kill that one. that one. Yeah. Traitors. So right. Cool. Okay, so we get our dice back. We move the round marker on. It's a scoring round. Well. It is a scoring round. And the start player comes to me. I haven't had high rolls once. Okay, scoring. Yeah. Should we do the traitors first? Okay. So I lose those two shields. I lose these two traitors. Done. I lose these two. Same for me. As well. And then, Jeremy, you get three points, and I will give you the three points, not Nick, because you've got Excalibur. Okay, environs. So yellow gets three points, plus another four, plus another one. So that's eight points for yellow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get four, five, six. I get eight points as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One point per vassal on the board. Two for me, two for yellow, two for red. And influence. So three. three points for yellow. And then that comes off. Okay. One point for yellow, one point for red, one point for red. One point for yellow, three points for yellow, and that comes off. Where are we all gone, Paul? I thought you had loads on, didn't you? I had two there, one of which came off. That's all. That's it. That's all the influence I've got. Yeah. So yellow steals the lead. Yes. And you're stuck player now, Paul, aren't you? I think we're done. The Grail didn't come in useful there because there was no tie breaks. We get three new. Oh yeah. Okay, so we are going to have to reshuffle. They do run out. We've got some over there as well. Oh, yeah. Right, so Thank you. I have a one, a two, and a five, and a four on Merlin. Um, okay, right. Hmm. Well, that's no good. That's no good. There's some. Cool. I'll just take three for this part. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's no good either. Um, oh dear. So the Merlin for me is actually completely useless because I don't have any cubes. Now that could be there, which could be a cube. That might be useful. Two would be there. Okay, that could be useful as well. So it's either a two followed by a one, or a one followed by now. So it'll need to be a five, which would be a brown flag. Is that any good? No. Wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So. One, one, two. Yeah, okay. So I am spending the one to go here. Choose a principality where I have influence. There. Put a thing on the board. 
and it's going to be the shield guy to get the shield. Okay, that's one traitor sorted. Done. Hmm. You had a really good round then, didn't you, scoring-wise? I did, but I got really rubbish dice. Like, really rubbish. Are low numbers bad? Well, yeah, if you're me, because I've got no cubes, and I can only do one or two. Oh, because... <laughs> right, okay. And I've got no flags to change it. Yeah, yeah, no flags and no apples. No. That's upsetting. <laughs> I swear I know what I'm going to do. You got a plan? I hope so. Yeah, Merlin can do something, can't he? Oh, so choose an area where you have influence and take a cube from that area. I'd look for purple. Yep. I'm knackered now, aren't I? Well, you I can. You I can't can... do anything there because I've got no cubes. No, so you still use Merlin to go here and get a cube. Oh, it's a three, isn't it? Almost. Yeah. I changed my mind. Actually, can I have an orange? Yeah. Is that bad? Uh, no, you can't have an orange. <laughs> no, you can't have an orange because it's choose an area where you have influence. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'll stick that one. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm going to complete that one for one point first of all. Okay. Done. You draw the new card at the end of your turn. Should it? Matter. I don't think it will here. <laughs> uh, I will spend my. I'll use Merlin, and I will go one, two, three. Um, I want the shield, but I'm gonna take. It. Yeah. You have to move. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Keep forgetting that. And then I draw my card. Then you draw your card. Okay. So. Um, gets me that, gets me that. Probably could do with Merlin now at this point. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to. Oh, uh, that, that's any figure, isn't it? No, that's your knight. Oh. Doesn't work. Does not work. Just want an extra one. Can I not have an extra one? Um, okay, so I will purple shield flips. A two could become a five. One, two, three. Ah, right. I'm going to use the five. To move one, two, three, four, five, get an apple and get the grail. Okay, done. No missions. I'm going to spend this one yep. to go twice on that board. Is that there. not only Merlin? It's only when you use Merlin because oh. it's Merlin's staff. Okay, well, um, I will just do one then. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to go in blue one um, above the purple. Yeah? Yeah. So you can spend purple or black. Build that. And purple. Yeah. Okay. Me again. Take two points off Nick. It's good with me. Actually, Can I actually spend the black one, the purple yep. one? Sorry, my brain's not working. Okay. Um, okay, all right. I will spend then. 
Where does that line there go? To here, doesn't it? Yep. I'll spend my one. I'll use my orange cube. Go there, okay. I will then use a two to go here. I will place my lady in waiting here to put an influence here. And then finally, for the first time in about four years, I've done a mission. <laughs> uh, influence in fish, influence in double headed eagle. Two points. Uh, get a new mission. Which of these do I want? Oh, there's a three pointer. I haven't got any of the things depicted on it. So I'll be taking that. Okay, done. I'm not quite sure what the discussion is about, but it's about a TV series from about 10 years ago. <laughs> Unless it's a Merlin TV series, it might be related. What does what mean, sorry? This one. one point per shield. So you get two points. Uh, two points. There. Hmm. We've got hundred point markers here. Don't think don't think we're gonna need them. Chance would be a fine thing, wouldn't it? Yeah. But they are included in the game, so I guess it's uh, I guess it's possible. Yeah, if you are watching this and you have played the game, let us know what your highest score is. If you, uh, yeah, if you know what your high score is, let us know. Can you go with it? Let um, us know. Um, this one that lets me jump. Before. Once you've moved your knight. So if I move one space, yeah. does that go to there? It goes to there. Okay. Then you move one of your vassals. Okay. And I've done this one. You have. Two points. If um if that one's already in there mm -hmm. and I wanted to move it to there. You can't. I can't. No, I don't believe so. No, that's okay, don't worry, I'll not. Choose one of your four vassals from either your castle board or any of the other five principalities. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you've got to be somewhere different. Okay. It's not really, so I've got two, I've got no choice, I have to go there. It's not what's the best move, it's what's the least worst move, I think. So I'm going to put this flag into there. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Oh, that's right. I take this one. Can I use it instantly? No, actually, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. You probably can. Well, I've got a four. Um, do I need a purple flag? Oh, do I need a brown flag? Oh. But you can get points for flags, can't you? So. Uh, I could use my. Could use my apple, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go there. And I'm going to put that on, and I'm going to take a flag. There you go, dump. Yes, the board is really nice. Yeah, and I do have a zoom in point for that bit. You can <laughs> see, you can see the artwork. Um, yeah, it's all very clear, and I, I like it when the artwork looks nice but doesn't interfere with the gameplay. Sometimes you get games where the artwork is so overpowering you can't actually see. Uh, the board, whereas in this, I think it's I think it's fairly clear. We were talking earlier, weren't we? Designed by the same guy that did Pillars of the Earth. Yeah. The aesthetic in terms of the drawing feels very similar. Similar. Yeah. It? I think it's a different artist. Yeah. Let me have a look at who the artist is. What is 
Uh, that means that you can use a space that somebody else is on. So you still move yours, but you use the space that you're on. Is it printed on here? Dennis Lohausen. Never heard of him. Okay. Okay, but there you go. That's who did the, uh, did the artwork for it. Uh, whereas Pillars of the Earth is famously the other guy well, whose name I've forgotten. Whatever his name is, yeah. Who designed Legends of Andor. <laughs> oh, go ask his name. Oh. I'm so gonna... somebody, somebody tell me who did the artwork for Pillars of the Earth and designed Legends of Andor. I think it's another Michael. I'm going to use this one. Yep. So I'm going to use these so, knickers on. Yep. To get the shield, so I have to move this one. Mm hmm. Yep, which goes there, and you get the black shield. And can I also spend this one to get rid of this? You one? can. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, that's a two. One, two. And I'm going to change this blue fish shield for a. Where's around here that I'm not going to come to? This one here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use this one here. Yep. To get rid of the fox. Okay. Foxy traitor. What does the fox say? That's a song, isn't it? Could be. I think so. <laughs> right. End of the round? Yep. Okay, we move on to the last round of the game. You say Foxy Traitor. Foxy Traitor. <laughs> it's a traitor with a fox on it. Yeah. So it's Foxy, Foxy Traitor. Traitor yeah. Right, off we go. Two, four, five, six. We've had no re rolls in this game, have we? Michael Menzel. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Stasia says that Dennis Lauhausen has done the artwork for some of Uwe Rosenberg games. Oh, right. Okay. Which ones? Which ones? Oh, and this is the same artist for Feast for Odin. Is it? Okay. Yeah, now that you, yeah, now that you say it, I can see it now. Okay, so Feast for Odin, definitely one. But yeah, Michael Menzel was the, um, was the artist I'm thinking of. I do love Michael Menzel's art style. Right. Jim is going first. Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's see what I'm going to accomplish this round, if anything. No. Um. Can you use an apple to re change any dice? Change Merlin. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Change any of your dice to any number. Oh, Lohos and also did Fields of Arla. Right. Okay. Yeah. A game that I really should own. If anybody wants to send me a copy of Fields of Arla, much appreciated. <laughs> Love the game. Only played it about three or four times and don't own it. Okay. Um, okay. I already have it. You already have it. Oh, I didn't. So that's, that's yeah. That's a very good move. Because you've already, you're going to get rid of both of those traitors. <laughs> Have you got the AP? Oh, it's just all very stressful. Caught up with you. <laughs> and we've six... Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Six things there. Spend a purple cube. Spend a purple cube to go at, on the green um, square at the top. Yeah. Uh, there. Yep. Yeah. You're always at me, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go four. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Take myself a cheeky little apple. And get the grail. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, he also did Gaia Project and Marco Polo. Right, yeah. okay, so he's done quite a few things. Bit of everything. I also think he might have done Crown of Amara. If somebody wants to look that up, I think this looks like Crown of Amara uh, as well. Right, I want to stay where I am. So I'm going to rub off the dots from my die and make it a zero using a new variant rule that I've just made up. Um... I need to move three. 
Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. Where's Merlin? Merlin's there. So go and get Excalibur. What have I got? I can turn my dice to any... Uh, I've got an apple, so I can actually change my dice to any other number. I can move backwards. Yeah, we can do all sorts of shenanigans here. Um, use it or lose it. So I am going to use a purple flag to turn my four into a three, which I am then going to use to go one, two, three. And then I am going to use... And that ability to move this one to here, getting me a blue cube. And then I have two people in the fish principality. Get two points. Whew. Yeah, that was a lot of comboing. Uh, I'm going to take that one. There you go. Yes, Crown of Mara is a very good game. Oh, we also did Aquasphere and Bonfire. Right, okay, thank you, Brett. So he's done loads of games that I've got. <laughs> well, there you go. Dennis Lauhausen, apologies for not knowing your name, but I have a lot of games that you've done and I do like the art, so. I just want to get a... Um... Stone. That one. Block off. Yep. That one. The mason. Okay. Uh, we go six. Um, I'm going to go to here. Um, and I'm going to put an influence marker. To your lady in waiting. She moves to here. Mm -hmm. um, that one goes onto there. And I then complete. That card there because I have influence in both the dragon and two the points. So two points, please. And then I would like <sighs> you're mad for the threes, aren't you, Paul? I haven't got. I've never had one the not? entire game. I haven't drawn a three. <laughs> right. So I'm going to use my six to move Merlin to here to get Excalibur. And to kill this one. Die snake traitor. Done. In fact, I've only got two turns left in this entire game. Mm. I think I'm going to use Merlin's staff to do that ability again and kill the other one. Nice. Because that's three points instead of two. Right, yeah, two turns left each. Gosh. What does Saipon mean? Uh, so choose a principality in which you have influence. Get a flag from that principality. You might be scoring as many flags. So for you, you would be able to take a purple, blue, or black flag. A cube's worth anything at the end of the year. Yeah, so cubes, flags, and shields. Oh, yeah, divide by three. Divide by three. Okay. In fact, I just changed my mind on that. It's not going to change anything, is it? Mm. I just realised I've got a, I've got one of those. You don't so, know what to do. So why lose two points when I could lose a third of a point? So black, blue, or purple flag? Magic purple flag. Oh. 
So glad you did that. I was petrified you were going to move Merlin that way. So I'm going to spend my apple. I'm going to change Merlin to a six. Yep. And I'm going to move back here. Yep. I'm going to spend a staff so I can take you do two this action twice. Actions. So what do I want to do? I would like this is such a this is such a good move if I do say so. So I'm going to first of all. Oh no, I can't. No, put you can't put influence there. Oh, oh dear. It's not a good move. It's not a great move at all. It's a rubbish move. You can put your shield guy on there. That gets you a purple shield. Yeah, well, I will do that. And I might... I need to... Where's the shield? There. Um, and I need to decide about using the staff. Yeah. So I will do that, and then I will complete that card there. Yeah. Two points. Two points. Two points for yellow. And that's the end of the turn. Ah. Sorry, I need to work out. So where... Will this five take me? One, two, three, four, five. Rubbish. Five would be a two. That's no good. I wish that one wasn't already on there because I've got a card that would score it as well. Um, all right. I'll keep the staff. Keep the staff. No, that's really upsetting. Okay. I'll move two. I'll go here. I will choose a principality where I have influence. And get a cube. And then I have two blue cubes. Two points. And then I will take... Can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. I'll take that one. Right. We are on our last turns. So, Pismake has the, um, the, the cop thing. The grail. What does that mean at the end? He can break ties in one of the principalities. In the principalities rather than on yeah. the, the board. Not on the environs there. board, yeah. Just in the principalities. Does anything break ties on no. the board? No. So, so at the moment, Nick's going to get the four tied. points for this. Yeah. Uh, you are both going to get one point for this. Is it not two it points each? It's rounded down. So it would, it's three points for Are the there territory. Four in there? No. Oh, no, is that a separate That's brown. One? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. the territory is three divided by two, rounded down. You get one each. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'll move one, two, five. Yep. I'm going to put um, in the last blue space with the, the yellow. Oh, I can't. With black. I've got black. Yeah. So you uh, can go there, which doesn't do anything. Yeah. Can't go there. There, which gets you a point. Did you go here to get a point as well? Uh, no, because there is part of this territory. Oh. And so I've already got two in there. Two. And yeah, I'll go in that one, I suppose. It's a point. <laughs> right, Nick. that's your action done. Uh, my last turn of the game, I use my five. And I go one, two, three, four, five. And it does absolutely. You get nil point. Right, I have a five, but. Which way I'm going? Well, actually, we will see because I've already got Excalibur. Actually, you know what? I didn't draw a card up. I should have done. Would that have changed anything? Actually, yeah, it would. Okay. I will take the points for the card. You I get a point. Please. Yeah. Thank you, John. There you go. I'll draw up anyway. Not that make a difference. So I could go there and get Excalibur, which would kill that, which I don't need because I've already got that. So I could go here. In fact, what's that going to get me? Ah, I know what I can do. He's got it. I can go there, then I can use the brown flag. Oops. To teleport to here. I'm then going to put that in there, which gets me a brown cube, which gets me two points. Nice. Right, we are done. Wow. So, final scoring. First of all, let's do traitors. I'm going to use that to get rid of that, which means I get three points because I've got Excalibur. How's everybody else doing with their traitors? Uh, I've protected from both of mine. I'll just leave them there. I've protected as well. Okay, all right, so that's that done. Uh, next, uh, environs. So red and yellow get 1.8. Uh, yellow gets four. 
That's all right. Blue gets four. One, two, three, four. Uh, blue gets two for there and two for there. Yellow gets one, red gets one. Okay, next. Influence. So starting here, who's got the grail? Me. Um, yeah, so I will use my grail. Okay, so two points to yellow. Mm -hmm. Here, one point to yellow. Uh, here, it's tied, so it's one point to red, one point to blue. Here is one point to red, one point to yellow. Here is one point to yellow. Did you not do this one? Here is one point to yellow, one point to blue. Not much in the way of influence in this game. No. Nothing gets Quite removed. Hard to influence down it is, yeah. It's a waste, um, waste of a turn. Um, people. The end. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, and now one point per apple, two points per staff. Uh, four for me, please. Six for me, please. That's it. Wow. I think that is it. I still wanted to win as well. So <laughs> close at the top, 68, 66, Gemma. 45. You you had a surge in the middle, but I think, I think the early scoring from this mm. helped. Yeah. Really did. I'd like to know how many mission cards we did each, because you didn't get a good start with the mission cards, but then you started doing a load of good ones, and I just froze in the middle of the game mm. until near the end. So yeah, doing that, doing that move to move over to the, oh, hang on, every three things is worth a point. I got one because I've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got so those shields shouldn't be there, but you have two flags and a shield. That's an extra point. None for me. Right. Okay. What do you think? I liked it. This round, this fifth round here broke me because I had ones and twos all in places that I didn't need them round here. Right. So in, rather than doing what I wanted to do, because I'd flown up that round, you remember, the, uh, this scoring. Yeah. I felt that I, um, I would, like I say, not choosing the best option, but the least worst. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. I think it's a nice game. I like the artwork, I think. I love this in the middle. Uh, in the middle here, I the, thought the at the beginning I was sat here thinking, "Oh, analysis paralysis." I'm worried I'm going to be sat here for ages, not knowing what to do. But the the more you get into the game, the more you're looking, thinking, "Okay, well, I'm going to go one, then six, then someone else might move Merlin." Yeah, you know, use an apple to change the value, and you can start to plan yeah. ahead a bit more. I say with with your three dice, mm. you can work out where your knight is going to go on all of those three moves. Yeah, but you've got the blue flag. And the brown flag, which are, which can completely change that mid mm. mid turn. So, what do you think, Joe? Mm, I'm not sure. Not keen. <laughs> you don't like it because you didn't win. If you'd won it, it'd be the best <laughs> game you'd ever played. No. I just I struggled to um, I struggled with cards to begin with. Right. Um, and then I struggled. With, I just never felt like I had enough time to do what I wanted to do. Mm. Yeah, you weren't doing any missions early, but my missions that I got at the start were all ones and twos. Mm. So I, but I never drew a three-point mission. Yeah. So. I think every time I had two, if not three, threes. Right. And I think that's the only one I had. Okay. In the whole. Yeah, I mean, I did use that space once to swap out two missions. Yeah. Because there were two missions that I, I definitely wasn't going to do. And without swapping them out, I felt like it was a little bit of a waste, but it wasn't because what it did is it gave me more flexibility in being able to do the things that, that I could do. Mm. Um, control of Excalibur can be quite useful. Uh, you kind of want to have it going into the last scoring round, assuming that you can defeat all of the traitors. Mm -hmm. You missed defeating one of your traitors once, didn't you? I missed defeating two. Two? Okay. So I went back six in the very first scoring thing. Right. Oh, you did, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I think mechanically, it's. I think it's. It, it's sound. I think there's a lot of choice, and as people have said, some of the Queenie expansions that come with it mm. uh, give you even more uh, manipulation of the dice. Yeah, there's a lot going on though. I'd say it's on the heavier side of games, probably. Okay. Personally, I do like this little mini mm -hmm. game down here, though. What was that game we played last year where you're teleporting across the map, taking loads of area control? I can't remember what it's called Kingdom something Kingdom Kingdom Builder Kingdom Builder it's the snow one that yeah that's also by Queen Games that. okay yeah 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 so. I struggle to see how you'd have any the 
<laughs> maybe score as I say um, you know if, if you're watching this video please leave me a comment in the comments uh, about what your highest score was because yeah I mean you know I've played before but it was a long time ago mm. 69 so when we, we're not expert players but I maybe you can just get to 100 you can imagine that some of the ex expansions will maybe the expansions or maybe a two player game scores more yeah or maybe a four-player game scores more. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. You, you could end up with some crazy six-size territory on here that somebody mm. goes in and nobody else yeah. goes there. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to play it again simply because I spent the first couple of rounds looking at these thinking, oh, I didn't realise that I did that, I didn't realise that I did right. that, and then, yeah, no again. But I yeah. liked it. I yeah. Like it again. yeah, so play again. I would suggest mixing in one of the small mini Queenie expansions next time, mm -hmm. which changes some of these okay it gives some extra little abilities there mm. but possibly not anything else so the one expansion that did come with the base game so okay. so not the big box but the actual base game is this right. uh, so each player gets one of those mm -hmm. which would have taken up more space <laughs> on, on, on the table yeah um but what happens with this is where is it where is it this is the king's favor um so you get a favor board. You also get four seals, mm. um, which go on this board. Any time you resolve a mission card, you can either get the points on it as normal, mm -hmm. or you can gain one of these favors. So basically, if I achieve this mission, mm. um, then I can either get three points for doing it, or okay. because it's the lady in waiting, I can put a seal on either there, there, or there. Okay. Because it's the three pointer. Mm. If I completed a one pointer. I could only put it on there. Okay. okay. And once you've put a seal in a column, that is it. So you, you get four seals, one for each column. And it basically gives you a permanent ability for the rest of the game. Right. So it's sacrificing some early victory points mm, for a long time. in order to get some kind of bonus yeah. for the rest of the game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that that actually came with the base game when the base game came out. Mm. And then yeah, there's a whole host of other other expansions. Uh, Ricky's gonna make a version called Space Merlin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Play a game now. So Stasia says the high score is seventy-two. Okay, so we were close to that. Okay, we were well, close to that. How are we doing for time? It's ten o'clock. Yeah, we'll wrap this video up now. Two hours, not bad. I thought yeah. it would be about two hours. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And as I say, thank you very much to all the support from my Patreon supporters. We're probably going to play another game now. I think. I think so. So yeah, there'll be <laughs> a, there'll be a Patreon only stream happening in about ten or fifteen minutes time. We don't know what game yet. But if you are a patron supporter, keep an eye on the Slack channel. I will be posting a video there. Uh, we're going to be playing another game tonight, but we don't know what. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.